helps that, makes it a lot easier. So, uh, you know, we'll be excited to get in tomorrow, watch some film, and, and get ready for the next game. You've got four games left. I mean, building on this, when you put in, I mean, to replicate this kind of performance, what, what, do, you, what do you have to do? What, this is the home stretch, this is it. Yeah, we just got to stick with the plan and, and stick with each other, really. You know, we got to stay together as a team um, and keep having confidence in each other. Reed, there seemed to be, you know, Justin with his performance, Big Z with 18, Antonio with 25. It seems like you filled up the rest of the categories. Is that kind of something you find yourself priding yourself in of just filling that stat sheet even when it's not scoring? Yeah, I mean, just doing just doing whatever it takes to win. Um, you know, like you said, Z had however many he had. J.E. had what he had, and Antonio and Rob, and everyone everyone scored tonight. So just being able to get them shots and get the uh, – like J.E. was rolling. So, you know, find him when he's open and let him get the uh, get a shot off and, and just keep keep feeding him so he gets the uh, – can get going and just keep getting in the flow of the game. Uh, but definitely, you know, just doing whatever it takes to win. Uh, yeah, just doing whatever it takes to win. You got some battle wounds today on your, on your face. Can you talk a little bit about the physicality of today's game? Yeah, I mean, it's the SEC. Every game is uh, physical. Excuse <coughs> me. But, um, you know, that's what that's what we got to get better at, and that's what we want. We want to make it a physical game. and. We've been working on that and being more physical, so we're, we're prepared for it. What is the recipe of success for this team? What, yeah. what makes it work when it's working? Yeah, just staying together and being confident in each other and sticking to the plan. Um, you know, nobody going rogue on offense or defense, just listening to the coaches and, and doing what they tell us to do. They give us a great game plan for every game, so just stick to it. Reed, you talk about just – you guys have struggled a little bit in conference play to kind of stack wins. You see a great performance and maybe a letdown, then kind of come back firing again. What do you guys have to do as a team to kind of keep that rolling, kind of start stacking those wins? Yeah, just stay together and stick to the game plan. Like I said, never never go rogue. Just just stick together and, and stick through the game plan for the whole 40 minutes. You know, don't do it for the half and then the other half relax and, and forget about personnel and everything. So we just got to stick together as a team and, um, like, offensively and defensively stay together and have confidence in each other. Even in most of the games you guys have lost, it's basically come down to the final minute of play. How much confidence does the offensive firepower that kind of we saw the, the best of it today give you guys that no matter what, you're going to have a shot yeah. at the end of all these games? Yeah, I mean, you know, when you got Rob or Justin or anyone, DJ Tone, anyone can get a bucket. Um, it really helps. And it's, it's easy to to get a bucket in a game with those dudes. But now, at the end of games, we got to lock in and stick together defensively and come up with a stop. Can you remember being on the floor for 28 points in six minutes? That's when the five of you guys when the lead blew up. The five of you scored 28 points in six minutes. Uh, <laughs> no, that was – that's just – and that all that came from defense. You know, every time we went into the huddle, the coaches were just like, keep defending, keep – you do what you do on offense, which is keep – keep defending and keep interrupting what they're doing and being physical and, and not letting them get out and score as many points as they can. You guys had a couple of breakdowns with, with Z there for a couple of positions when he first came in and they go to a TV timeout and you pull him aside. Like, What are you saying to him in that moment? Then he comes back out and just has the game that he had. Yeah, just do, just do what he does. I mean, he's a great basketball player. He's a smart player. He knows what to do. He's played basketball his whole life, right? So don't overthink it. Just go out and and just do, just play basketball. Just play basketball. Just have fun and do what you do. Reed, you guys have played well off losses um, so far this year. What has been the key to coming back and getting these bounce back wins, especially with being such a young team? Yeah, just forgetting about it. You know, watch watch film, learn from it, and then forget about it. Never, <coughs> never, um, never let one loss lead to two or three. Um, so I think we've done a great job of that. Of when we lose, we stick together as a team and just keep working and, and stay uh, together. Reed Justin said that you introduced him to the mental health coach. Uh, why did you do that? And how do you, much do you think that's helped him? Yeah, well, I think it's helped him a lot, and I hope it has. Um, you know, I've, I've been lucky enough to have have this guy, and he's been able to help me um, just, just, be, just be positive and and no matter what, has a, have a positive voice uh, and positive mindset uh, towards everything, and it's and it's really helped. And uh, I knew uh, I knew Justin wasn't doing it on purpose. He was just he was just struggling. So I knew if he could talk to someone and someone could talk with him about just staying positive and keep keep going and no, don't give up. Just don't let it, don't let it take all his joy and 
and fun away. Um, so I'm really glad that he's finally turned on the page, and I'm super proud of him. He said the biggest takeaway for him from it is it's kind of free to him. Is that something you noticed when you saw him play out there today? Is a little more loose? Yeah, yeah, he's not thinking. He's just going out and playing basketball. I mean, Justin Edwards is a really, really good basketball player. Um, and you guys have known that for multiple years now. So uh, every time he goes out on the court, he just – and he's just playing. He's just having fun. And that's what he that's what he does. I tell him all the time. I just look out and say smile. And that, that's kind of our – our joke with each other is anytime one of us isn't smiling, we have to tell one tells us to smile. Um, just to, you know, stay having fun and, and don't lose the enjoyment of playing basketball. Come on, bro. <laughs> All right, Justin, what a season long What What'd that feel like tonight? Uh, felt good, you know. Like I said, out there, I've been struggling mentally for the last, like, the rest, basically the whole season. So just to be able to go out there and, and go like, play how I did means a lot. Did you have, like, that mindset that you were just due? For so a game like, did you feel like you had a mindset that you were just due for a game like this? Yes, uh, you know, uh, me and Coach Kyle always talked to him and told me that he believed in me and I told him that I believe in him. You know, I stay in the gym, you know, and I just believed in God, so, you know. Hey, hey Justin, Justin, real quick, real quick. How does it feel to go perfect out there on the court and not miss a single shot all night? Uh, you know, uh, just go out there, you know, and practice. You know, I always work out with Reed Shepard, you know, so just, yeah, you know. Okay. Justin, <laughs> you, you said Cal and you guys talking about a moment like this happening. Clear that you're teammates have stuck with you. What's that meant to have those guys behind you every step of the way and then kind of letting you know one of these moments is going to happen? Uh, it just meant a lot, you know, just like I said, like I say all the time, you know, shows that they believe in me and, you know, that's really about it. Did not when did you know throughout the game that you hadn't missed or were you even keeping track? Uh, I knew that I didn't miss. I had to knock on wood, though, because I was like, dang, I ain't missed a shot yet, but I knocked on wood, so, you know, <laughs> God, that that's why guys was on my side. <laughs> What that four-point play feel like? Did you just feel like you weren't going to miss something, anything? You know, so you want to know something crazy? That's my first time ever shooting a, like a three and getting fouled. So that, it was like, I didn't know how to react. <laughs> how did the sound, what did it sound like to you when that went down the place? I was, I was kind of zoned out. <laughs> yeah. How much did it mean to hear those fans kind of going all in when you checked out? Two or three uh, different times, it seems. Like. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't, you know, I don't really know. I don't really pay attention to it, but it just shows that they support me too. How big did the basket look out there from your point of view? I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to answer that question. Okay. <laughs> when you, when you, Cal says you live in the gym, you talked about that. What if, can you quantify that? Hours, shots up. Yeah, you know? I work out before practice, after practice. You know, just. Uh, perfecting my craft, you know, I work on my jump shot a lot. That's something that I really, that I'm really good at. Just hasn't shown this season, but I know that I, I'm a really good shooter. And I just stayed in the gym, I stayed the course. Do you know how many, how many shots you put up in there on your own? Uh, overall, a certain amount of time overall, or whatever, a day or whatever. A day, I try to get like 200, 300 shots up before practice, and not try to price you like 400, 500. You know, just, just kind of keep it sharp. Justin, over conference play, it's kind of been a struggle for you guys to kind of stack them up. Yeah, a couple wins in a row. It seems like you guys seem to bounce back after losses, after a big game from yourself and a big game from this team. How do you guys make sure you're focused going into Mississippi State? Uh, just I build on what we've, what we've been doing in practice. You know, we've been locked in, locked in the last couple of games on the defense end, and just to be more the more physical team. What did you think of that group of five? You guys were out there six minutes and scored 28 points. Uh, that's, that's like that's just us like believing each other's game and then Coach Kyle, you know, Coach Kyle is one of those coaches that if you're rolling, he lets you let you thug it out. So that's really about that, you know. Is that a fun five? Yeah. <laughs> you played in a lot of big games, you know, McDonald's All American, Team USA, things like that. But where does this game stack up for your all time performances? Uh, this will, it means a lot, you know. I think I'm the third person in uh, since under since uh, uh my bad. Uh, first person under Coach Carter to go ten for ten, third person. And the last time someone did it, they didn't have no three point line. That's Kentucky history. Yeah. And you're the first person with a third. Yeah. How's that feel? Uh, uh, feels good, you know, to make history. You know, I always feel good to make history in, in anything. Justin Cal has talked before about working on mental health with his guys and they're struggling with talking to someone. Is that something you did it all during the Yes, uh, uh, Isaiah, well, Reed, <laughs> he introduced me to his uh, mental health coach and we've been talking, you know, and I've been reading books about mental health, you know, so just to be able to be free, like, and just play and mentally be better feels, feels well. You know, the main thing you've learned from those, or what else have you taken away that makes you feel a little freer? Oh, uh, just to not have negative thoughts, you know, to always have the positive to have your positive voice at the podium. Anything you'd like to say to maybe people watching this who might be in a slump themselves and whatever they're doing and trying to get 
uh, through hard times? Yeah, just stay the course, you know. Uh, bad days it was. It's not going to rain forever, you know. So just stay the course and believe in God.